Hello my dears, this is Sarah from SheHoldsDearly.com and today we will be continuing our Styling Thrifted Decoration series. This is part 9. It is a special edition. We will be focusing on summer decorations. was this blue chalkboard. It's a little scratched. I'm gonna see if I can do anything to make that look better. I got it for $4 and I, I love bringing out blues, reds, and or yellows in my summer decorating. So I thought this was cute. Um, I felt like it could go really good for 4th of July, right? So a lot of times I'll bring in the red, white, and blue a little bit, and I'll bring in beach feel, or I'll bring in like kind of even school type stuff. All of those are really good. They give you really good mileage all the way through, so June, July, August. Which leads me to my next find, which was this globe. I paid $4 for this, and this goes along, this will go through the patriotic part of summer. It's got yellow in it, which will kind of take me into fall a little bit. It definitely has the back to school feel, so this is a good piece. And I also saw this in Target brand new last week, so I will link this original source for this. Mine's mine's a little beat up, like it feels, I feel like it has glue on it in a couple spots. Yeah, there's somebody glued something on here, but it doesn't bother me. Next up, I found this beautiful glass box at Goodwill, and it's cracked, but we're okay with that. $5.99. And I am going to fill this with some seashells and put it on my coffee table. After that, I found these cute little paper straws. They were 99 cents each. I love to set out like a lemonade area in the space and I might end up just doing this on my coffee table. Be cute with um, lemonade bottles or something. And I have some lemon sprigs. I'll see what I can come up with. but. Thought these would be cute, and then maybe we could actually use them on 4th of July. All right, so along with our like seashell type theme, I'm just like giving you ideas to like kind of open your mind when you're out thrifting, or maybe like look at what you have with new eyes. Anything that says beach, anything that says back to school, anything that says patriotic can work into your summer decorating. This is, it's actually very heavy, it's a pillow cover with this, I think it's called Capri's seashells, kind of a mother of pearl look, but they're white. It's very heavy, you would not fall asleep with your face on this, so very decorative. I'm sure that's why someone got rid of it, because it's not comfortable. But to me it said seashells, and so I think it would look really cute with summer decorating. It was $2.99. Then, my most recent find was these pretty little crocheted napkins. Now I see some stains, and I paid Five dollars for these. Let's see. I have one, two, three, four. Oh, I have five. Five of these napkins. Now you might already know I love to fold these up and use them in the bathroom for our hand towels. But first of all, I want to use these um, in summer decorating. They just had kind of a picnicy feel to them. I might style them on my piano like this, kind of like pendants. I thought about turning them into pendants and hanging like a bunting. But I don't really want to cut them, I want to use them after the summer. So I think I'm going to style these up on my piano. Okay, and this isn't actually from the thrift store, but it was on clearance at Ikea. And I did show it in my Ikea video, but I also want to put it into my summer decorating finds. Uh, these curtains are clearance. They are nice 
curtains from Ikea. I just totally see patriotic when I look at these stripes. And I've been looking at them for years and I was like, they were in the clearance section and I was like, I'm done, I'm getting them. And in my head, I think they would make really beautiful bunting. So we'll see what I can come up with that. Um, yeah, so let's get styling. So what I ended up doing was actually using the little shell pillow cover on the window seat and styling it up with a lot of whites and then I had a little pop of navy blue and if you're using stripes, like this is the little thing I do when I'm decorating for summer, I always turn the stripes so they're going horizontal. I just feel like it, it feels more like the flag to have the lines going that way. So. You'll always see me do that with my striped pillows and things. And then I ended up styling the piano. I wrote with chalk July and then like highlighted July 4th on the little chalkboard calendar and styled up some vintage books I had. And I don't like to use too much red. I know people love red. As you know with me, I like just a tiny touch of it for maybe for Christmas and for 4th of July type stuff. And so I had the one red book and the globe up on the top there. I used the little galvanized bucket because I felt like it looked like something that was really vintage, like to take to the beach, so things like that you can work in. And then I ended up not doing the coffee table. I ended up styling our, it's the Lego, we call it the Lego dresser. And I ended up putting the seashells in the little glass box on that. I had some silk flags, which I love. Um, they are from, I think, World War II even. I got those on Etsy. Paid a lot for them, but I love them. So I put those in a tub. I actually got this, I don't know if I ever shared it in one of my thrifting videos, but it was thrifted. I got this at Goodwill. Uh, probably, it was right before Christmas that I got the gold. It's a beverage dispenser. Oh, yes, I did. I shared it in the breakfast setup that I did. So you guys have already seen that one. So now it has some old books in it and those silk flags and a transferware teapot. If you have transferware that's red or blue, this is a good time to pull that out. Then I styled up our table. Now we don't eat dinner on this table presently. This is a study table that I have in the living room because we have so many kids in college and it gets used a lot. So I styled that up and I didn't make bunting. I took that Ikea curtain and used it as a runner and just draped that over the table. I also bought this brass, this brass tray. I think it was about $20 from Ikea. So that's currently in stock at Ikea. And I put one of my um, napkins down in there and oh, I didn't mention on the piano, but the piano had, I put them kind of like pendant, just folded and laid all of those napkins across the top there. And then I got the, I get these bottles from World Market. I think they're three, three or four dollars, like, and they're French lemonade, and I don't even know if the lemonade is good. I can't remember, but I love the bottles, and so I have a few of those. You can grab those. Really cute for summer decorations. Just clean them out when you're done. And I styled that up with those straws. So that is my little summer area, and you know, if you if you can't get to the whole house, which I can't do this summer, I've got too much going on, but it's okay to just do a few like bots in your house to dress it up and make it, just refresh it for summer. That's great too, that's a win. So that's it for this month. Hopefully you can be looking for stuff when you're out um, thrifting yourself. And I do have a thrifting checklist. If you don't already have it, grab it from the link below, print it out, take it with you next time you're at the thrift store or I mean garage sales are gonna start up again too. So have fun with that and let me know on Instagram. I have a hashtag, it's called She Holds Dearly Inspired. Tag me on that and I'll show you in my stories. I love it, I, I've been getting lots of those little tags where you guys show me how you're using my ideas in your own space, I love it. All right you guys, that's it. So if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button so I can send you 
more videos on how to make interior design easy. All right, take care. I'll talk to you next week.